hi guys happy easter today is easter sunday and as you can see i'm not working today i'm just relaxing at home this easter sunday but i i want to bring something to you that i have written i've written it about the crucifixion and jesus and some of the things that transpired so I am going to bring you, but this is a new book I've started and this poem is going into my new poetry book. So I have, it's not printed, it's on my computer. So I'll have to read it from my computer and bring it to you. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned while I bring this little piece to you. I want you to listen to this. It's three o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Anya Carvel. In lieu of our regular news, this is a Spirit Radio special report. The death has occurred in the Roman province of Judea of Jesus of Nazareth. The popular teacher and religious leader was executed by crucifixion along with two other prisoners this afternoon on Mount Calvary in Jerusalem. The 33-year-old, also known as Jesus Christ, was arrested on Thursday evening. It's understood one of his friends, Judas Iscariot, assisted authorities with their inquiries and subsequent arrest. After cross-examination overnight by officials from different jurisdictions, Governor Pontius Pilate ordered the execution this morning. Eyewitness reports from the trial suggest the governor's initial verdict to release the Nazarene without charge was reversed following representations from local religious leaders. The convicted man was forced to carry his own cross to the execution site. The crucifixion was carried out at midday and his death has been confirmed, with cause of death recorded as asphyxiation brought on by scourging, crucifixion, extreme exhaustion and loss of blood. Rebecca Ryan has more. Jesus Christ, the son of Joseph, a carpenter from Galilee, was born in Bethlehem. His family moved to Egypt for an undisclosed period before settling in Nazareth. Jesus worked as a carpenter in the family business and more recently as a traveling teacher and preacher. He was known for his ability to heal physical conditions, including epilepsy, blindness and paralysis. He was praised for reaching out to the lonely, poor and marginalized and for his unique insights and teaching style. Last year, a wide range of media outlets reported eyewitness accounts of a miracle where Jesus fed in excess of 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. He is also reported to have brought... David writes, I love it too. <laughs> Jesus divided public opinion by identifying himself with messianic claims in the Hebrew scriptures and angered religious after. leaders by claiming to be God's son, which constitutes blasphemy under Jewish law. Other scholars criticized him for claiming to have the authority to forgive sins. Jesus was in Jerusalem to celebrate the Jewish feast of Passover this week. On the night of his arrest, he held a Passover banquet with his friends, where he's reported to have foretold his death. The number of followers of Jesus' movement is not known, but is thought to be in the thousands. Most commentators believe these will disperse following the execution of their leader. Jesus is survived by his mother Mary. In lieu of flowers, the family has requested that everyone try to live as Jesus did. Donations may be sent to anyone in need. Reporting from Jerusalem for Spirit Radio, I'm Rebecca Ryan. Meanwhile, doubts have emerged over the legitimacy of the trial of Jesus of Nazareth. A member of the Jewish Council claims that council procedures were circumvented by holding court proceedings at night. There are also concerns that Judas Iscariot may have received financial inducements from temple authorities to inform on his former boss. In a dramatic twist of events, the body of a man believed to be Mr. Iscariot has been found today in a field close to Jerusalem. Police are not looking for further witnesses. It is thought that Mr. Iscariot's untimely death could hamper inquiries into bribery allegations. 
The body of Jesus is to be removed to a stone grave near Calvary, donated by Joseph of Arimathea, who was a friend of the family. Local politicians have called for a 24-hour armed guard to be mounted outside the tomb because of concerns that it may be robbed. It's understood that Governor Pontius Pilate has consented to these security measures. And that's your special report at four minutes past three on Spirit Radio, the home of positive hits and inspiration for your day. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Pure Hands On. So this little piece I wrote um, in 2020, I I did a video. It was like a worship video during the pandemic, and then there somebody sent me a post with um, the news about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It was so um, it was so defined like today's news you know like there's an accident or somebody pass away and they bring you the news that's how it was written and i was i was crying the whole time and i posted it on my youtube page in 2020 and yesterday i, I kind of reposted it on friday you know because it still resonates with me so i decided to write a piece i know today is easter sunday but i decided to write it for today because I was busy um, Friday Saturday so I'm gonna bring it to you right now as is as it is written so the title of it is Jesus Christ of Nazareth so you know I do my little intro before the actual poem so the intro is that's what I that's my thought and and it goes like this be he white or be he black be he olive skin as they say or as the bible says he has hair like wool and feet like brown brass well it matters to me that he is was a real genuine human being not a kind of man or mankind I condemn the violence and wickedness, such atrocity, but they all paid the consequences. When people judge you wrongfully or killed you innocently, just hold fast. Be still and know that it will not go unpunished. Your innocent blood will cry out and justice will serve. Consequences are real. So that's the intro. So at this point i am going to go straight into straight into the poem guys stay tuned and i hope you liked it or you like it which, whichever one is best so it says they be watching jesus every nooks and crannies observing all his works and his movements conjuring up statements and plotting his punishment you can find it in the new testament when jesus saw what was ahead of him he cried out to his father and said if it is possible please father please remove this cup from me but then he said nevertheless father it is not my will let your will be done Jesus was submissive, ready to conform. That's when they prepared him a thorn. He was humble, never stumble. The whole world could have crumble with all that rumble, but Jesus stayed humble. And they dragged Jesus into Pontius Pilate, and Pilate scourged him, and they plotted a crown of thorn. And put it on put it on his head and the crowd gathered yes the crowd gathered and they shouted crucify him crucify him then Pilate gave Jesus back to them 
and said, Even though I found no fault in him, he is faultless, no criminal record, no sin, no prejudice, crucify him. <sighs> to the twelve disciples and all followers, fear not, do not be dismayed, do not worry about a thing. Every little thing gonna be all right. People will hate you for nothing, then eliminate you for nothing, just because. Just because of your race, your color, your grace, your culture, your truth, and your belief. But let them get on with it. Let them contend with themselves. They say, we have a law, and by our law, Jesus ought to die. Death, said they. Pontius Pilate heard and was very afraid. He then asked Jesus, whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer, cause he plotted with the plotters. What a statement. There is power in silence when you know who you are. You are the sons and the daughter of Zion. You are the son of the Most High. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them, said Jesus, for they know not what they do. The trumpet blow, now they must reap what they sow. They must be blamed, cover their heads with shame, go back from whence they came. Jesus knew they couldn't tame because their hearts were lame. Pontius Pilate went on a trial for cruelty, oppression, and injustice. But people pretend not to notice. Executed men without proper trial, living in denial. He was subjected to death by execution or suicide. He, Pontius Pilate, committed suicide. Jesus overcame them. They were all the same. He conquers death and the grave because he was brave. He forgave them and now he is risen. Hallelujah. He arose. Selah. I hope you like that little piece. It's a bit edgy because I have to be paying a comp pain. Um, <laughs> I just lost the word. Attention. I have to be paying attention to the computer to read it from the computer so I could bring it to you. But guys, I hope you like it. I hope you like it. And I hope you steadfast, as I said in the first in the first bit, steadfast and know that nothing that is done to you wrongfully will go unpunished. No matter how it seems, like uh, there's no justice coming to you, but justice will come to you. I can assure you, because God is good all the time. He works for everyone. As long as you're in the right and you're innocent and they judge you wrongfully, God will come through for you. You have a peaceful day. Have a good bank Easter weekend. You and your family and be blessed. Stay blessed. Peace out.